Hi. Welcome once again to our series on strength of materials, solving problems on strength of materials. And welcome once again to this channel. Kindly subscribe, like, share, and leave your comments as well. Once again, today we are looking at how to determine normal stresses in welded rods or welded joints. How to determine normal stresses in welded rods. Example two. Quickly, let's look at our question and how to solve such kind of problems. Two solid cylindrical rods, AB and BC, are welded together at B and loaded as shown. Determine the normal stress at the midsection of AB and BC. And we have, we have this diagram. Take a, a look at the diagram and let's see how to solve this problem. Good. We are asked to determine the normal stresses or the normal stress at the midsection of AB and BC. Midsection of AB and B. C. So let me divide this plane into two. I use one side for AB and the other one for BC. So this is AB or from A to B. This is AB. And then we are from B to C. B to C. Now, when you are giving this kind of questions, take notes. You can see from the diagram that there are basically two sessions on the diagram. There are basically two sessions. You can see that what you have at this session, the diameter at the top part here from B to B is different from the diameter from B to C. Therefore, what you are going to do is that you are going to consider these sessions individually. You are going to consider these sessions at different instances. So first of all, for the tension in AB, what you are going to do is that you are going to cut through the session, the main session from A to B, like that. You are going to cut through the main session. And then we draw a free body diagram. Therefore, we are going to get something like this. If we cut from that main session, up to the down point, you are going to get our diagram like that. And this is the second part. So you can see that our force, we have a force here, and we are told that that force is 55 kilonewtons. And then we have another force down here. We are told that it is 40 kilonewtons. And where we cut, there is always to every action there is equal and opposite reaction. Therefore, we will have a force pointing this direction like that. And we can call it FAB. We can call it FAB. So from this diagram, using the conditions of equilibrium, we can say that F, A, B, look at the direction. When we are going up, we are going to take that direction as positive. When we are coming down, we are going to take it as negative. This is also down, therefore it's negative. Therefore we are going to get F, A, B minus 55 kilonewtons minus 40 kilonewtons is equal to zero. 
So from here, we can say that FAB will be equal to positive 95 kilo newtons, FAB. So if you want to get the stress at the mid section of, if you want to get the stress at the mid section of AB, then we are going to use, we are not going to use these forces here, but rather we are going to use the reaction force at that side or at that point, which is FAB. Therefore, we know that the formula for determining the stress is FAB, the force at that section, over the area perpendicular. So the area perpendicular will be this side, and we are told that it is a cylindrical row. Therefore, we need to first calculate the area of that side. And we know that area of a circle, that is circular in shape. So the area of a circle is pi d square on four, since you have been given the diameter. However, we can also use pi r squared. And from there, we can say that from the question, we are told that the diameter, the diameter of the side where we have cut through, this is the side which we have cut through now. So you can see that there the diameter is 35 millimeters, 35 millimeters. So we are going to get A equals pi, we know that pi is 3.142, and our diameter is 35 millimeters. We need to change that to meters, and changing that to meters, we divide by 1,000. And therefore, our diameter is going to be 0 0.035 squared all over. Oh, and from there, our area is going to be 9.62 and 10 raised to the power negative 4 meter square. So having been able to now determine our area, we can easily determine the we can easily determine the stress since now we have the area and we also have the, the force applied at that section. Therefore, we can say that stress AB will be equal to the force, which is 95 kilonewtons, so times 10 raised to kilometers times 10 to the power 3 newtons over the area which we have calculated, which is 9.62 times 10 raised to the power negative 4. And from there, meter square. And from there, our stress in Session A, the main session of AB is going to be 98 mega pascal. Don't forget that Newton, the meter square is also called pascals. So, therefore, the mega there is times 10 raised to the power 6. Good. Having been able to do that, now we can come to the main session of BC because we're told to find the stress at the midsection of AB and midpoint of BC, midpoint of BC. So midpoint of BC, we are also going to cut through a section like this. This is from B to C, and that is where we want to find the stress. So we are going to cut through this section, and we take the one, the side that is down here. Therefore, our free body diagram is going to be like this. The session which is coming down, we have a force of 40 kilonewtons, and then to every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. So we have a force going up here, and we can call it force BC. And from this free body diagram, applying the equilibrium equations, we can say that FBC minus FBC, anytime you are moving up is positive, when we are coming down, it's negative. So FBC minus 40 kilonewtons is equal to zero. Therefore, FBC, the force at the mid section of BC is equal to 40 kilonewtons. Having been able to do this, now we need to calculate the area of that mid section, which is perpendicular to our force FBC. And we know that the diameter at that side is 25. Therefore, we are going to get our stress as stress 
at point DC will be equal to F DC over A. And our A, the formula is pi D squared on four. And from there, we can see that we change, don't forget to change the millimeter to meters. Therefore, our area is going to be 3.142 times D. When we change 25 meters divided by 1,000, we are going to get 0 0.25 square all over 4. And from here, we can say that our A is equal to 4.5. This one is 0 0.025, not 0 0.25, 0 0.025. From there, we are going to get 4.909 and 10 to the 4 negative 4 meters squared. And from there, our stress in DC will be equal to, we have already stated the formula. We have 40 times 10 to the power 3 all over 4.909. 909 times 10 to the power negative 4. And from here, our stress in BC will be equal to 81.48 mega Pascal. Mega Pascal. And we are done with that question. So that was also a bit easy. And I believe it is something which can easily be understood. However, if you have any challenge, you can kindly let us know at the comment section, and we'll be glad in assisting you to fully understand this concept and apply it. So any kind of question you meet on this type of questions on strength of materials. Thank you once again for staying in touch with us. We are happy and glad to have you once again. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell as well. We'll meet again for our next example. Until then, we want to say bye-bye for now.